அட்டகாசமான அரசியல்வாதியாக பியூர் பாலிடிக்ஸ் பயிற்சி பட்டறை நேரடி மற்றும் இணைய வழிவகுப்புகள் பிப்ரவரி இருபத்தி மூன்று முதல் மார்ச் எட்டு வரை தொடர்புக்கு Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Sir, this okay. white paper I would like to see as a wolf in a sheep's clothing. Sir, this white paper is nothing but a concoction of twisted facts and selective memory, conveniently ignoring the failures and shortcomings of the present administration. A honorable prime minister who seems to have a penchant for blaming the Congress and Nehru for everything under the sun. Sir, they have been in the power for the last 10 years and they are supposed to talk about their merits and their success. but still they want to talk about the congress and nehru sir it would have been better if they had presented a white paper pre independence and now because they would have shown a thousand fold increase in the economic development in the number of jobs created and so on sir this is not something sarcastic because if they wanted to present a white paper if it was to be between 2014 and 2019 and now then too there would be an increase in all that what they are saying now so it always shows that uh, what the congress and the nehru had done then it is that momentum which is being carried on now also and that is why we are seeing success sir also sir why there is a deafening silence on the people's issue of price rate unemployment and, and, and uh, economic inequality sir whatever little success this government has it likes to just thump and always say it is due to modi 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 but if there is any failure they want to attribute it to the congress and they want to attribute it to nehru so the periodic labor survey has promised as indicated a decline in job quality with monthly earnings remaining stagnant since 2017 the white paper proudly mentions india's stint as one of the fragile file economies in 2013 so it conveniently forgets the global financial crisis of 2008 during which india stood resilient while other economies even like the us that had stumbled then was it the bjp then then power it was dr manmohan singh who had stood then sir it is not only this government that can bring a report card or say comparison to 10 years we also would like to give a comparison to 10 years before the petrol price then was 72 rupees now 101 rupees diesel 55 rupees now 92 rupees gas cylinder below 400 now 1000 rupee value around 60 now 83 groundnut oil 130 now 300 gingerly oil 300 now 500 so tur dal 74 now 140 and the garlic which the finance minister has proudly said in this very house that she doesn't consume but which the common man eats 110 and Mr. now 400 Mr. Sir, Sintel, also a report Mr. card. Sintel, I would like your, to place. Your party's time was over. Sir, just one minute, sir. I'll just finish. Just conclude yes, within two minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Within two minutes. Yes, sir. So I would also like to uh, place on this uh, a report card. Bringing black black money, this government has failed. Demonetization, this government has failed. Priority of uh, printing of two thousand rupee notes and withdrawal, this government has failed. Farmers law, this government has failed. Creation of PSUs, this government has failed. giving rupees 15 lakhs which they promised this government has failed two crore jobs this government has failed bullet train this government has failed price rise this government has failed making railways on par with airports this government has failed madurai aims it was a big failure and the list goes on and on sir we we find only empty promises and follow rhetoric it's time to hold this government accountable for its failure and demand real solutions to the pressing issues Chief. plaguing okay. our nation i'm okay. just finishing in 30 okay. seconds sir for in the heart of every static lies a tale of struggle of dreams that rise let not numbers obscure the human plight let compassion guide us in truth's pure light beyond the white papers and political storm lies the essence of why we were born Wise to serve words. the people to uplift Wise the weak to find solutions we hope seems bleak so rise my friends with courage in you let's build a tomorrow that's bright and true for in the end it's not power we seek but a world where every man can speak Shri thank Anubha you sir